big one, dude. Really? Yeah, that's a giant. Really? Yeah. This has got a giant on right now. Is it a bass? This is a bass. It's huge. You have a it's net? A bass. Oh, my oh my gosh! What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of One Dream Fishing. Today we are heading to Toledo Bend to do a little bit of practice for the Bassmaster Tournament. Hold on. But I am back at my house in Houston, Texas. The other boys are up in Lindale and uh, we're going to meet in the middle at Toledo Bend. I'm heading out right now. It's about 10 o'clock. I got about a three, three and a half hour drive. Uh, gonna get there a little bit after two o'clock, uh, set up camp, get ready for the other boys coming with the boat. But we're looking to have a fun time and just uh, explore the lake, find some new stuff, put on some fish, have a little bit of fun camping. As you can tell, uh, my truck here is loaded down. But as for that, we'll be getting on the road. We'll see y'all at T Bend. Alrighty guys, I have arrived here in Hemp Hill, Texas uh, at this Indian Mounds campground and I came a little bit early, like I said, to try to set up power and everything. So I come to this campground and I see that there is only one source of power in this whole place. So I'm like, alright, we're going to get this spot. So I come over here, I'm like, everything's going to be alright, we got power. I call everybody and say, look, spot 17, that's where we're gonna stay tonight. I'm like, you know what? I should probably check if there's power before I say like everybody come here, right? All right. Well, if you look at this, if I knock it enough time, some ants will come out of it, but no power comes out of there. If you can see in there, there's dirt all in this thing. And then over here, we got the old wiggly outlet. That still doesn't work. So, in conclusion from that, as I've been sitting here for, I don't know, an hour now, trying to figure something out because there's no power, uh, we are booking an Airbnb on the Louisiana side of uh, Toledo Bend. And that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna stay in that Airbnb. We tried to find other campsites, and like I said, I'm at Indian Mound. There's not another campsite for like 50 minutes around me. And then the closest one is like 50 bucks a night for primitive camping, which is absolutely ridiculous. And then every other campsite that we found around uh, Toledo Bend that has power doesn't offer primitive camping. So we're just throwing it in the books and we are going and we're going to spend the night in an Airbnb because this was just an epic fail. So uh, I'm waiting for them to send me the address. And I got about another 40 minute drive. We'll see y'all in Louisiana now. It's me and Reese. And we, what is up everybody? <laughs> we are currently on the way to Toledo Bend. We are meeting Jacob out there right now. Uh, we were supposed to stay at a campsite, but I don't think there's power. According to Jacob, he called us and said there was no power. So we had a change of plans and we rented an Airbnb. So, uh, which was probably a smart thing to do because it's going to be very cold and raining this week. We were planning on staying in uh, tents and sleeping bags, and uh, I'm glad we uh, rethought that. So we are currently. It is seven sixteen. We're supposed to be there at the Airbnb at nine thirty. So we're going to see what Jacob's up to. I think we're going to grill out tonight. It's going to be a fun week here on Toledo Bend. we got some great footage for y'all, so y'all stay tuned. Pop. Hey, what's up? All right. So give us a tour. Here's the main living room. Coming into here, <laughs> we got our bathroom and our handy dandy 
zombie survival kit. Oh. I, don't know, I don't really know what we need that. We're for. ready for everything here. Good old sausage. Jacob, let's look at the fridge. Yeah. So Jacob has brought a whole deer with him. Uh, so we. Deer's in here. Oh, deer's not here. The deer's in here. Jacob's entire deer. So we're not starving. We're not starving. We're eating good. We're eating back shut fruit and steaks. We've got summer sausage for the boat tomorrow. And then working into here, two queen beds for suit channel. We're living it up at Toledo Bend. All right, everybody. So that was the house tour. We'll see y'all in the morning. We're going to do a nice morning breakfast. So we'll morning see y'all. Morning breakfast, all. some eggs, some bacon, maybe some hog bacon. You're going to be eating good. See y'all in the morning. Good morning, everybody. All right, guys. It is day two. Uh, yeah. Is it day two? Yeah. It's the day two. Started oh, day it's two. Started day two. It's the first full day here. First full day at Toledo Bend. We had quite the night. Uh, it was hot in the house last night. So we are like, I'm not going to run the heaters. Reese was brave enough, so he's got his own unit in here. And he was like, I'm going to turn on the AC. That was a big So in the middle of the night, I like actually, my ears frozen to my pillow. <laughs> and I braved braved the cold when it turned it on. But other than that, tell them about the chicken experience. Yeah, so we have a rooster who likes to live right outside my window. So all morning long, he's been just conking outside. <laughs> so I've just been rolling over for the past two hours trying to figure out what to do with this chicken. Whether to shoot it or what. But, yeah, so it's been an interesting morning here at the cabin. But we got Mark over here. Mark over here, making us here some breakfast. Ready. Try to have a little sausage bacon, baby. Oh my God, they found us. Holy cow. It wasn't enough to wake us up. They came. They're gonna eat us. <laughs> Giant. She's got a giant on right now. Is it a bass? This is a bass. It's huge. You have a it's net? A bass. Oh, my oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Look at that! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, Reese! Oh. 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 Reese, look at the camera! Oh my gosh! God, that's a, that's probably an eight. Oh, oh. she's kind of skinny. God. The freaking head of a that's ten pounder, though. Oh my God! God. Look at this. She ain't been eating good. All right, so Reese, you just saw the fish he caught. Absolute bohemoth. Freak. But <laughs> we are in Texas technically, so uh, due to the share lunker program, they have any bass weighing eight pounds or uh, 24 inches or longer qualifies for that program. So basically you enter the bass into their app and then you basically go into the record books for catching one bigger than eight pounds. So it's a pretty cool thing to kind of track how many eight pounders are swimming in Texas waters. We're gonna go ahead and get him entered in. Let's pull this baby out. 
Cool. Absolute monster. Let's turn it to zero. It's 26 inches. Cool. 26 over 26. It's like 26 and a half. Now we need one on the scale. Let me get under the water. Let me make sure she doesn't hurt her. Even if we have to do it online, we can. Heavier. What is it? 789. All right, everybody, we got pictures. We're gonna plug it into the Sri Lanka app. We're gonna see if we can get this thing certified. So, an absolute beast, 26 inches long. Definitely the longest fish I've ever caught. It's pretty crazy. Get a release on her. Make sure she's nice and healthy. You ready? There she goes. <laughs> they give me some. Oh my god. Take a one. How about that? Y'all just saw Reese catch a share lunker today. We had an awesome day out here on Toledo Bend. We're wrapping up. We just ate some dinner. So it was a good day. Keep on dropping the consequences, any kind of challenges, uh, podcast ideas. Drop those in the comments. We look at all of them. Also, go check out our podcast on uh, iTunes or Apple Podcasts. Go and give it a look. It's also under One Dream Fishing. We'll see y'all on the next episode of One Dream Fishing. I found the chicken. Go! That thing's massive. Jacob, come look at the size of this chicken. I mean, dude, this thing weighs like 20 pounds. Ooh, it's 